Hey everybody, what's going on? Jason here, welcome back to the channel. And uh, we're trying to find the right commercial mower uh, for you uh, commercial cutting guys, uh, whether that's a walk behind or a grandstand. And uh, for more videos like this or small engine tips, uh, give me a like and a follow. And um, we'll get talking to them, how to, buy, how to buy one, what to look for, what might suit you better. But, uh, so you got a 60 inch X mark walk behind here and a Toro grandstand and uh, just talk a little bit about them, um, what they're good for and uh, what might suit you better. So this is a 2016 X mark turf tracer, has a fuel injected Kohler, I think it's 23 and a half horsepower something like that and uh, 2016 model has uh 1624 hours on it so to me that's a pretty low hour machine of course uh 60 inch uh deck the x mark decks are great very heavy duty um small little solid front wheels in the front caster wheels there and um so yeah this has the kohler fuel injected motor on it and i really like these motors i think they're uh very good and um, just run great will last a long time if you maintain them correctly and um, <clears throat> so let's talk about this uh, grandstand a little bit here so this also has a fuel injected Kohler I think it's a 25 horsepower and this is a 2017 model and it has 1500.8 hours on it so uh, pretty similar in year and in hours on both of these machines um, 60 inch Toro deck a little different than the uh, the X mark I still like them uh, some people would say that parts cost more for the Toro deck than the X mark <clears throat> I like uh, I still like them but uh, I still like them pretty well um, even compared to the to the X mark deck there but so yeah um just has solid front caster wheels um 20 20 by 8 inch on the back and uh, this has uh, 18 by 8 on the back so a little bit tire bigger tire on the grandstand but um say one of the biggest things would be uh the hydro pumps that are different on these machines this here has a uh a pump up here and then a wheel motor down there to run the wheel and uh, of course the engine runs this pump and then it's got hydraulic lines go to the wheel motor down here so uh seems to be a good system they've been using it for a long time now um of course there's different pumps and uh different uh you know better ones that they've come out with but um <clears throat> I mean, these seem to be a good system, um, work well for a long time too, but whereas uh, this grandstand here, it just has a self-contained unit, it's just all run, uh, the pump and the drive motor in the same unit, it's down here, you can kind of see it, um, it's right there, you can service some, it's got a filter right here, and um, got a reservoir up here you just fill that up and fill them up but um i mean this is a tough torque um wheel motor and then that's i believe that's the parker just that's the hydro gear uh pumps there but um yeah so i mean i think either one of them is a good choice i mean i haven't i mean you see issues with all of them um with the motors with the pumps you know with everything but um as far as they go i think both of them are a solid choice so it really comes down to mostly um you know what are you going to be using it for i guess when you're if you're buying one there's a couple things to look for um really the hours would be a big one um you know something has more hours on it but it's been well man maintained um that might be something to look at more than 
uh, something newer with a ton of hours but um, you know of course how it starts up and runs um, Does it sound healthy? Does the motor have a lot of noise in it? And then, of course, you know, check your oil is normal stuff. But, um, gotta check how responsive uh, your hydros are. Um, that's just something important to check on these. You know, if one's really out of adjustment, it seems it might be getting worn out, um, or it might not have been properly maintained, something like that. But, um, so of course you need to check all the normal stuff when you're buying one especially a used one but it really comes down to uh you know what's more comfortable for you um and what you're mowing <clears throat> personally i like the grandstand better than one of these walk behinds and that's mostly because well one there's a platform stand on here it's really handy of course you can stow it away and it makes the machine smaller for uh, if you're loading them on your trailer but um yeah, in right there but i really like uh the handles a lot better than the x marks uh squeeze here so you gotta squeeze them here to, to turn and uh, you gotta hold this bar down right here which is kind of annoying that's for the blades if you take it off it'll shut the machine off it's just a safety feature but i just think um really hurt your forearm after a while squeezing this like after you know an hour or two i kind of start to feel it and um you know it just really gets into your shoulders and um course you're walking behind it so that takes a lot out of course you can get a sulky and uh, put it on the back but I mean you know I think it just a walk behind will just wear you out much quicker um, standing on it it's just a lot more um, physical I think than something with this platform on the back where you can just stand on it and uh, it's kind of got it's got rubber bushing so it's got kind of got some bounce on it and then uh, you just got these, you push them forward. So I, I really like that a lot better than uh, the squeeze type. And um, of course you got your deck height here. I think that's a lot more handy than uh, you gotta lift all four corners up on the deck on that and switch pins around. Um, but yeah, um, you, of course you can get the, the grandstand in the Xmark version. Um, it's like the Vantage and um even some of the older ones they had the pump and wheel motor style um of these made um so you can get the, the vantage i believe in this style or a squeeze style like the walk behind there if uh, that's what you would prefer of course it come comes with a different deck but um yeah so really i think uh one of the biggest factors would be um, what you're mowing. Um, a walk behind, I will say, will hold a hill a lot better than the Grand. Some guys might say that um, it's easier to change the blades on a walk behind because you just uh, it's easier to pick up the front end to put a jack stand under it to, to take the blades off, whereas you're going to need like two guys to probably pick that up and put a jack stand under it um you know change them and sharpen them but uh what you could do is uh just take your trailer gate and run that tire up on it and get under there and uh, take all three blades off and don't have to pick it up or anything um so there's that too um of course uh it has easy access to the belt here and uh so does this it just pulled that panel just pull right up and you get to the belt um, change you know all the idler pulleys all that kind of stuff fairly easily and uh, that'll take care of you there but um yeah I, mean, I guess you can still see pretty well um, from the back of one of these here uh, standing here you can see everything um, 
Whereas if you're sitting on a zero turn, you kind of can't see what's behind you. You're running into trees. But um, honestly, I just prefer uh, the grandstand. I think it's just easier to use. You just hop right on the back. Um, if you're backing up with one of these and you have a saw key, that can be pretty, pretty troublesome. Um, you're just right here on the back. Um, you don't have to worry about a saw key. It'll just back straight up real easy. And, um, yeah. So something else with the grandstand is, uh, they call it the multi-force. And, um. It's got this hitch thing on the front. This one's missing some parts here, but uh, it's supposed to have like a hydraulic cylinder here and a um, control valve up there. But anyways, it's got whatever, a two inch receiver there. And you can put like plows on the front, um, a little dumper on the front, um, all kinds of other attachments, spreaders and stuff you can put on the front of this, which makes this a little bit more versatile machine. Of course, you're gonna pay uh, more even just for a grandstand alone than a walk behind but um i think it'd be be worth it to uh to look into it and um i think it'd save you time and money uh getting a grandstand but walk behind definitely has its place but um yeah so that's just uh really my two thoughts about uh a walk behind or a stander and uh, I mean, I think they're, they're both good options. Uh, just really depends on what you're mowing, what you're going to be using it for. And um, yeah, hope this was helpful. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, see you next time.